Hi guys, are you ready to become an IP camera expert? In just five minutes, I'll take you on a journey to master the three most popular types of IP camera. Get ready to unlock the secrets of bullet, doom, and PDZ IP cameras. And understand those camera types is crucial for anyone looking to establish a robust civilian system. And don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And feel free to leave comment below and share your thought with us. We love hearing from you. So IP cameras have become integral to modern civilian systems due to their high resolution, flexibility, and advanced video analytics. Now, those advantages make the IP camera the preferred choice for enhancing security measure in a wide range of applications, from small-scale installation to large-scale enterprise environment. So without saying, let's check out the three popular types of the cameras. So first, I'm going to talk about the bullet camera. It is known for its distinctive cylindrical shape, feature long and narrow design resembling a bullet casing, hence the name. And it's commonly used for outdoor civilian, such as monitoring entrances, parking lot, due to its rock construction and water resistance, because it has IP66 waterproof rated. So making them suitable for both indoor and outdoor. With the 5 megapixel resolution at 25 frames per second and a 30 meter adaptive IR illuminator, excellent quality image can be available even as the object is in challenging condition, such as the dim light, low light, and high contrast environment. It can support 2.8 to 12 millimeter remote focus lens, allowing for focusing on specific range and adjustment on web. So next is the Doom camera. It is a widely used type of civilian camera characterized by its Doom-shaped housing. Now the design of the Doom camera allows it to be discreet and blend in with its surrounding, making them less noticeable. That's why it's mostly used in indoor civilian, such as retail store, offices, and public spaces. And the Doom housing can provide a wide field of view, allowing for comprehensive coverage of the civilian area. And now we have two types. This is the big one. It has 5 megapixel at 25 frames per second and 20 meter adaptive IR illuminator. Makes it a true day and night camera to generate 24 7 clear images with high pixels. Beside it, we have the Mini Doom. Now, the Mini Doom also has 5 megapixel and with IR illuminator. It also has 2.8 mm super wide angle lens, allows users to obtain a wide monitor range. And also, we have the 4K Doom camera available too. So last but not least, we have the big PDZ camera. It is a type of camera that offers versatile control over the camera's movement and zoom capabilities. They are designed with motorized mechanism that allows them to pan horizontally, tilt vertically, and zoom in and out. Users can control the camera's movement through a control interface or a software and is commonly used in a large-scale civilian application with extensive coverage and active monitoring, such as stadium, city civilian system, and airport. So this one has 30 times optical zoom capabilities, endless 360-degree pan, and 1 degree above horizon tilt angle over overall coverage. Although it is equipped with removable IR cut filter, apply 200 meters adaptive IR illuminators. So now I have introduced all of the cameras. Now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll connect all the cameras at the same time. So now we're in front of the board, as you can see, we have the PDZ camera, the bullet camera, and the Doom camera already placed at the edge. And we're using the WebSmart PoE switch to connect with them. So in a camera setup, we'll need a monitor to display the video footage. This is the NVR for network video recording, and the router to provide main network data. So let's do the connection together. 
First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the NVR. And the NVR is already connected to the monitor using the HDMI cable. Then using another short patch cord to connect the router with the PoE switch. Let's plug it in here. Since we're connecting to three IP camera at the edge, so I'm just go ahead to plug in three ethernet cable. Here we go. So move over to the edge, I'm going to plug in the camera. As you can see, only a single ethernet cable is needed for the IP camera because they're PoE compatible. And it can provide both power and data at the same time. So you can see the indicated lights are all getting on now. And let's wait for a little bit for it to zoom in and out. We have the PDZ camera already ready, already ready. So we can see my hand moving. And this is the bullet camera. Last but not least, we have the Doom camera. So now the whole setup is done. And there are many important factors to consider about when selecting an IP camera, including resolution, lens types, compression rate, bandwidth, power source, and environmental consideration. And those factors actually depend on your specific need. And if you want to know more about how to choose the IP camera, here's a video about top five things to know before setting up an IP camera. And thank you very much for watching.